Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Today folks, we're going to talk about Knights of the Old Republic, the video game. Not really. Uh, I'm not going to review video games. I'll give you my two reasons for it. First off, video games were always considered S canon within the expanded universe. Now, as you know, S canon stood for secondary canon, meaning the events took place, but not necessarily the way you played the game. So, for instance, if you remember the old game Dark Forces, Kyle Katarn could actually kill the Emperor and rule as emperor himself over the empire. Now of course that didn't happen, it's just an alternate ending to the game. And then of course some other games like Knights of the Old Republic could let you play as a male or female. Well, who was it? Was it a male or female who completed the journey? Who cares? The actual event took place, just not how you played it. Same thing if you were to play it as a Wookiee or a Rodian or whatever. The events took place. Now if there was a book based on the video game, like The Force Unleashed, then that book was considered canon. But overall, the video games were S canon, and I don't want to review the video games. The second reason would be I'm not a video gamer. I'm into board games. I'm a board gamer. Now, I have a ton of respect for the video games within the expanded universe. I have played a few of them, not all of them. But I also know for a fact, after reading some of the stories and looking at the story modes on YouTube and seeing other people's reviews, that there is a quite interwoven story within the expanded universe in the video games. And it's just another area of appreciation that I am just hitting the tip of the iceberg with. In fact, like the other day, I was watching a YouTube video where they mentioned the Pinnastar alignment, which was something I obsessed about way back in the day reading the West End Games Adventure Journals. I didn't even know that they put them in a video game. Wow! That's amazing. But once again, it shows you the beauty of the expanded universe. Even the video games connected to the books, the comics, everything. There's so much continuity and that's why we love it. Now the reason I'm going to mention KOTOR is because it is basically the Timothy Zahn of video games. This is the one that I hear everyone rave about and they love it and they should. It had a tremendous impact within the expanded universe and for that reason alone I give it all my respect. Now I did have a chance to play it for the first time ever last year and don't be mad but I didn't enjoy it that much. Hey don't hate, don't hate. I know a lot of you really love the game and that's fine, but remember, I'm not that big on video games, plus I played it way later after its release and to me it seemed a little dated. Not that there's anything wrong with dated games, there's a lot of dated games that I love playing over and over and over again, but this would be not one of them. However, I cannot ignore the fact that this video game had a significant impact within the expanded universe. It did. The story is brilliant. And that's why you need to at least know a little bit about the video game story to enjoy the next book, Revan. Written by Drew Carpishan, it tells the story of how Revan got married to Bastila and then goes on a quest to regain his lost memories. Now on that quest, he gets captured by Sith who take him to the Emperor of the Sith Empire and Revan's fate is decided. Now, the story takes place over about 13 years, too. What did I think of the book? I'm not trying to give you spoilers here. I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Because this book actually has people divided on whether it was good or not. I've heard Old Republic fans even say they didn't like this. Me, personally, I enjoyed it. I loved it. And get this, folks. I hadn't even played KOTOR when I had first read the book, and I thought it was a good book. You're going, what? How can you not play KOTOR and not understand what's going on there? What? How can you do that? Folks, another great thing about the Expanded Universe is each one of their stories or trilogies were self-contained. Meaning if you just wanted to read one book or just this one trilogy here from Bantam or Del Rey, it was a self-contained story and you wouldn't have to read the rest of the books to understand what was going on. You didn't. That was the beauty of the Expanded Universe. You could stop and start anywhere you wanted without having to play catch up and read them all. One of the things I hear from the opposition all the time is, well I'm glad they got rid of it 
Because if they did not have to read all those books, who has time to read all those books? You don't have to read all the books. I know people that just started on Legacy of the Jedi and read from there. I'm going, wait, you missed out everything over here. What about all this? And they're like, uh, I, I didn't really miss anything. To me, it felt like it was just one ongoing journey. I didn't miss anything that came before. But I realize now that you didn't have to read it all to enjoy it all. Reading different portions of it, you could bring what you could and have a self-contained story and enjoy that on its own without being lost in the overall story. Beautiful and brilliant at the same time. Another reason why the expanded universe is so beloved by all of us, right? Now after this, you need to go to Star Wars Tales 24 where it's, the story is unseen and unheard. It tells the story of Vysis Mar and how she became the apprentice of Darth Nihilus. It's a short story, it's a comic book story, it was fine, nothing good or bad about it, but that would be the next book chronologically that you need to read. After that, of course, it's KOTOR 2, which I heard from a lot of people isn't as good as KOTOR 1, but they still enjoyed it. And again, these games meant a lot to the expanded universe. That's why I'm mentioning them. I am not the person to review video games. There are tons of other talented people out there who have made excellent video game reviews and I encourage you to check those out. Mine is just focusing on the actual material, what was considered C canon. Besides, I have an Ewok to feed. I don't have time for video games. Folks, that's all the time we have for today. Join me next week as we go through another review.